Hey everyone, Mario Martinez Jr. here, social selling champion and CEO of M3 Jr. Growth Strategies. Feel free to reach out to us on www.m3jr.com. All right, today, late breaking, fresh, unheard of, haven't been seen before, a brand new feature that has been released inside of LinkedIn Sales Navigator to help you sell more. You remember the old uh, tags and notes that we used to have inside of LinkedIn to be able to tag second degree connections as well as first degree connections? Well, guess what? It's now inside of LinkedIn Navigator. And this was a release of the product that was just done uh, a, about a week or so ago from today. So exciting to be able to have this built into Navigator because it allows us to be able to do some really crazy, awesome things. And at the same time, we now have the ability to be able to see all of our messaging, uh, all of our emails and messages in, in one profile, in one view uh, for all of our clients. So without any further ado, let me show you the power of LinkedIn Navigator tags, notes, and the ability to have views of messaging in one centralized spot. Let's go to my LinkedIn Navigator instance. And inside of here, we're gonna uh, go to our homepage here as if you were looking at this for the first time. Now, I'm going to look up a few clients that I want to be able to show this demonstration for. So let's go ahead and start out with looking up some clients uh, that we have, and this will be a great example of one of our um, social selling training clients as well as LinkedIn profile development clients. And right inside here, uh, thanks Nana, by the way, if you're watching this, uh, go Niners. Um, right inside of here, we are going to showcase um, the use of tags and notes. And right inside of Navigator, right here, there's a new box called Tags and Notes. And inside of here, you have the ability to be able to click on this Tags button and uh, add in any type of tags that you like. Ah, sorry, you must save it the uh, person as a lead in order for you to be able to tag and put notes inside her. So we're gonna save Nana here as a lead. And now we're gonna go inside here and we're gonna click on here. There are some defaults that are inside of here for LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Uh, you can change these by creating a new one. You can edit what they say. You can delete them out if you wanna delete them out. Whatever the case might be, you can add in as many tags as you like. We have a specialized formula on how we use tags and that includes things like when we've connected with the individual, do we send them our first message out and we tag them with LinkedIn first message. We tag them the week that we added them to our, um, to our instance. So we use the Sunday as, a, as an example. And so uh, we would actually add inside of here a tag that says something like this. Oh, excuse me, that's edit. We're gonna create a new one. And inside of here, we're gonna say LinkedIn uh, contact and we're gonna use Sunday as the um, date and that would be Sunday the 11th, 09-11-16. And now we hit create, and now he's been tagged. We also, let's just pretend we just connected with him as an example. Uh, he, we're gonna mark him as a customer. They've now become a customer, and we're going to click apply. So now there are two tags in this list. Now, what is really cool is that if I had sent uh, Nana a message, so I'm gonna send Nana a message here and say, uh, test Nana, please disregard this message it's only for a test p.s you are in a video that is going going viral <laughs> so i'm going to click send now watch what happens on the far right hand corner over here we click send and up pops this new window called messages and now I get to click on messages and you can see here everything that I've sent to Nana in terms of communication is now stored in one central repository. So I don't have to go back and forth to my inbox and then back to the profile. Beautiful design by LinkedIn. Amazing job, phenomenal job LinkedIn uh, Navigator team. The other thing inside here that is uh, pretty important as well is we, we do this all the time. As sales reps, we're having calls and we're looking at individuals' profiles and um, grabbing inputs or data points as we're speaking to them about themselves on a personal level or the company. So now we have the ability to be able to add a note inside of here by clicking on notes. And we, uh, the way I teach our clients to do it is we put the date 09-09-16 
and um, we put notes from our meeting today. Let's just pretend those are our notes. We click save, and now we have the a contact tagged, we have notes, we have messages, all inside the existing profile. Amazingly powerful for when you are actually engaging with your prospects or buyer, uh, uh, customers, excuse me, and you wanna be able to see the history of conversations that you've had, um, you can put it right inside there, and as important, the messages that you've exchanged on LinkedIn. Now, let's now say what is the importance of, of tags. Let's now think about how we actually use these things. So let's go into um, leads over here, and um, under leads, uh, we are going to uh, look for um, a area called um, uh, the filters right over here. Now, on filters, under our um, leads that we have saved, we have this new filter that is inside of LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And these new filters allow us to filter based upon the tags that in fact we have inside of Navigator. And you can see uh, I have the tag called LinkedIn Contact 0911-16. You guys just saw me put that in. And also there's other default ones as well. Let's say I wanna run a specific campaign uh, for an event that we are doing say in San Francisco, maybe at Levi Stadium as an example. And I wanna invite customers only. So I'm gonna to go to my tags of everybody who I've tagged as a customer and bada bing, bada boom. Now I have all of the folks that I've saved as customers inside of our um, uh, filter here. I, I've just added in a few folks as an, uh, just test examples here so that you can actually see someone identified as a customer. So now I can take that and I can filter it down and say, oh, I only want customers that are inside of the San Francisco Bay Area. Boom. And now with I can go about doing a messaging campaign to those individuals or reaching out. Or let's just pretend that I didn't want to do customers and I actually want to do people that are in my funnel opportunity, decision makers, whatever the case might be, uh, VPs of sales, VPs of marketing, VPs of IT, I can change these tags to be anything I want so that I can start appropriately tagging my potential buyers and then filter on them on a day over day basis for whatever it is the activity that I wanna do. That is an amazingly powerful uh, tool that LinkedIn has given us and you need to be able to use that inside of LinkedIn Navigator. So that's notes, tagging, and the ability to see all your messaging inside of the profile, all now available in LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So you heard that training tip from us here at M3 Junior Growth Strategies, groundbreaking, late breaking, fresh off of the newsstand, uh, that is from LinkedIn. So LinkedIn guys, great job. We've been asking for tagging and notes um, and the ability to see our messages all inside of the profile. Uh, for a long time and you guys have done it right great job and for hopefully all of you guys watching feel free at the bottom of the screen right here you'll see a link that will take you to uh, a article that we have uh, on linkedin about linkedin sales navigator if you want more information and certainly feel free to be able to click on this link now and that link will take you to our website to learn more about how we can help you turn your linkedin profile into a lead magnet thanks so much for joining and take care. Talk soon.